disturbing that the medical um, system is as screwed up as it is and as unjust and and chaotic as it is, and at the same time, uh, it's uh, very unfortunate that uh, we don't seem to have the money to really pay to improve it. So I have no idea where we go from there. I don't either. Um, if we, you know, then there's a, the simple mathematical problem. You know, by, by their own account, they're going to add 50, I think probably more like 70 million people to the rolls. Um, uh, and, and that's all fine and dandy, but we're going to need two to five million doctors. And where are they going to come from? And, and well, I, so I, I don't know. I'm not a big believer in, you know, extrapolating, uh, uh, doing statistical analysis from extrapolation like this. I think that we're going to see too many other things change in the meantime. I agree. I don't think we have anything. I think all of this speculation is meaningless because the future is going to be so much weirder and different than we possibly can imagine that we should just, you know, pretty much just begin to live more simply. And I think then we can just kind of surf with whatever happens as this thing cranks up. Well, I do think that circumstances are going to compel us to live differently, whether we like it or not. Yeah, it's already happening. I mean, uh, it's just not happening that fast. It's kind of interesting because in Los Angeles, the uh, if you drive to the uh, Mexican neighborhoods, um, all the front yards are gardens. All their backyards have chickens in them. And, and, and then you drive to the other neighborhoods, like uh, the suburbs, and it's all lawns and everything. And you just wonder... You know, when people are going to wise up that they have to start taking care of business and, and, uh, you know, those Mexicans are, are doing it and, uh, and, uh, and everybody else is just kind of falling behind. And I think we need to take that kind of attitude, and, you know, all around. And I think you're right. I think the laws themselves are going to change in our little small town. You can't have chickens and wildlife yet. But I have a feeling as this thing advances, they're going to start allowing people to have things in their yards that are not allowed now because it will be turned into more like a small town from the 30s, I think. Actually, it could even go back to Thomas Hardy, couldn't it? Well, it's possible, yeah. Um, uh, you know, in my in my two uh, fictional books, my two novels about life in the future, I, um, one of the characters is... Uh, um, more has more or less become a feudal lord in his um, yeah. little corner of the county, and uh, you know I, I think that there will actually be quite a few people who um, feel that they're in a position where they have to sort of uh, um, trade their allegiance for for security. Um, I think you're right. I think, uh, and I remember that character. And I think, um, I think you're right. It's going to be moving in a lot of ways to some sort of new feudalism, and people may want the protection of the local wealthy guy because there could be roving bands. Who knows what's going to happen? Well, so I think we are moving food to... security. You know, the, the security yeah. to, to have a you know a meal um, uh, every day. Uh, yes, I think you're right, and it's uh, well. We I think what we have to do is well, we have to go is what we have to do. <laughs> um, but um, I think what we have to do is 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 just get as much of this information out as possible. Take a deep breath. Nothing's going wrong yet, and uh, we'll be all right. You know. Well, um, I, I'm not as glo- you know I'm I'm not a really a gloom and doomer. I have a lot of faith in human resilience, but I, I do think that the times uh, do require us to change, and, and uh, it always happens in human history, and this is nothing new. Well, I agree. And you've been listening to James Howard Kunstler. You go to his website, just type it in, Kunstler.com. I'm Jay Widener. You go to our site, SmokeAndMirrorsRadio.com. Uh, we're on every Monday through Friday. I'll be back tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be talking about architecture. It'll be really fun. And thanks for being on, and thanks for listening. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Goodbye.